extremely fucked up and sickly because I got my second vaccine shot, but we're going to fucking do this shit anyways. I'm going to stream in a while, and I need to stream more, so. I just get a sip of tea real quick. Um, yeah, so I got my second shot, uh, and I'm just feeling super fucked up right now. Uh, yeah, not much else has been going on, just looking for work. Um, but yeah, I realized this was like the only, um, the only one I hadn't played so far, uh, on stream. So I've decided I would just do that. Uh, I don't know what game I'm going to do after this. I'm kind of torn between Star Wars uh, Knights of the Old Republic 1 or um, either KOTOR 1 or Ion Fury. Uh, let's just do normal. Resident Evil 4. Nineteen ninety-eight. Nineteen ninety-eight. I'll never forget it. It was the year when those grisly murders occurred in the Arklay Mountains. Soon after, the news was out to the whole world, revealing that it was the fault of a secret viral experiment conducted by the international pharmaceutical enterprise, Umbrella. The virus broke out in a nearby mountain community, Raccoon City, and hit the peaceful little town with a devastating blow crippling its very foundation. Not taking any chances, the President of the United States ordered a contingency plan to sterilize Raccoon City. With the whole affair gone public, the United States government issued an indefinite suspension of business decree to Umbrella. Soon its stock prices crashed, and for all intents and purposes, Umbrella was finished. Six years have passed since that horrendous incident. I received special training via a secret organization working under the direct control of the president. I was to assume the responsibility of protecting the new president's family. Cornel, why am I the one who always gets the short end of the stick? Yo, who are you really? Come on and tell us. You are a long way from home, cowboy. You have my sympathies. Guess that's a local's way of breaking the ice. Anyway, you know what this is all about. My assignment is to search for the president's missing daughter. What? All by yourself? <laughs> I'm sure you boys didn't just tag along so we could sing Kumbaya together at some Boy Scout bonfire. Then again, maybe you did. Oh, you crazy American. It's a direct order from the chief himself. I tell you, it's no picnic. I'm counting on you guys. was right before I was to take on my duties of protecting the president's daughter when she was abducted. That's the ultimate reason I'm in this lonely and rural part of Europe. According to our intelligence, there's reliable information about a sighting of a girl that looks very similar to the president's daughter. Apparently, she's being withheld by some unidentified group of people. Who would have thought that my first job would have been a rescue mission? Freezing. So cold all of us are it. Eh, must be my imagination. Skyrim guard. Sorry it took so long.
Just up ahead is the village. I'll go and have a look around. Yeah, we'll stay and watch that car. Don't want to get any parking tickets. Right. Parking tickets. Good luck. So we're just in a mountain Sweet. town in rural Spain. Guys? Did you say something? Leon, I hope you can hear me. I'm Ingrid Hunnigan. I'll be your support on this mission. Loud and clear. Somehow I thought you'd be a little older. So the subject's name's Ashley Graham, right? That's right. She's the daughter of the president. So try to behave yourself, okay? <laughs> Whoever this group is, they sure picked the wrong girl to kidnap. I'll try to find some more information on my end as well. Good. Talk to you later. Leon out. So I got the F uh, I got the FOV scaled up a little bit. Uh, I can go over to the files, communication log, player manual, info on Ashley. Twenty president's daughter kidnapped by an unidentified group. Kidnappers' motives are unknown. Reliable information that the perpetrator is an insider. Only a handful of people know about the kidnapping. It's been kept under wraps mostly due to the fact that we can't determine who the traitor is. The guys in Intel say they have reliable information that Ashley's been sighted somewhere in Europe, but until we find out who the insider is, I don't know what to believe it could be a ploy. Uh, we have very few leads to the whereabouts of Ashley, but members of the Secret Service and anyone else related to Ashley are being questioned by an investigation team. Uh, even active agents are being investigated for any information. It's just a matter of time before the kidnapper is exposed. Give me one sec. I, there was one place I forgot to uh, send the, the, the stream notification out to. Okay, there we go. Uh, so, like many other people, this is just one of my favorite games ever. Um, I didn't play this one as early as some other people did. Um, I actually played this one pretty... Um, I played a lot of the PS1 games. Like, I played um, Resident Evil uh, 2, 3. Like, I played those ones earlier. This is one I played actually significantly later. Like, I was probably in my late teens when I first played this. So... And there's just your communications log. Keys and treasures. And here's our weapon. So yeah, we're starting with a fresh save. I've got the FOV turned up a little bit. Um, just because it's, it, it's a little too restrictive most of the time for me. We could turn it down a little bit. It's a, it's a little bit too wide. Ruins the claustrophobia a little bit. So we're going to turn it down to... Four. A four looks. Not much of a difference between four and five, but... Um, yeah, I don't scale it up too hard. I'm just going to... I'm just going to five. It's just a, I, 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 I don't like the default FOV. It's just a little bit too, too, too tight for me. <coughs> yeah, not too much of a difference between four and five. I'll just leave it at five. It's fine. I'm trying to be careful because if it's too uh, high, then, oh, sir. I was wondering if you might recognize a girl in this photograph. ¿Qué carajo estás haciendo aquí? Lárgate, cabrón! Sorry to have bothered you. Freeze! I said freeze! Oh yeah, I have my laser set to green. I forgot how to change that. Shit. 
Is everything okay? There was a hostile local. I had no choice but to neutralize him. There are still others surrounding the area. Get out of there and head toward the village. Take whatever measures necessary to save the subject. Understood. It's been a while since I've played and I had all these mods running, so just give me... I'm sorry I keep pausing. I, I know I'm breaking the pace right now, but um, I have to... I, I I just gotta I just gotta see uh, real quick. Where did I go to change the laser color? It's been so long. Oh, okay, now I remember. Um Switched it back over to the default. I tend to like green lasers, but red is closer to vanilla, and I want this to be a relatively vanilla playthrough. I'll have to restart the game once I hit the first uh, checkpoint. Right, A is reload. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ! Sorry, I'm I'm just pausing every fucking second. I I have to check the controls now. Ah oh, god, this is this is so fu fucked. I should have I should have spent more time preparing. I'm sorry. Um No, we're just going to stick with type 2. Yeah, I've got a lot of time time sunk into this game, so I'm pretty good at pretty good at this stuff. Uh, still remember the controls, which is good. Yeah, look at all look at all this shit. Okay, we're gonna have to just... We're gonna reset the game real quick. Whoops. Just cause, um... We gotta reset the just to refresh the, um... The, the laser color now that I've reset it because I think the con those config settings only apply at the beginning
There we go. Okay. Yeah, green is like the most identifiable color to the human eye, so I just was using green for a while because it was easier to see. But... We help the dog in this house. But yeah, so the game exposes to you pretty quick. Um, you know, there are traps and shit laying uh, out and about, so you gotta keep your eyes open. So, the the silver ghost, as it's called, it's just called the pistol in this game, but the fi in the files, it's, it's called the silver ghost. Um, it has the most shakiness of any pistol. Uh, so that causes some issues. It's yeah, it's just it's just the most shaky pistol. There's not really many stability upgrades for it. That's one of the other reasons people always opt for the Red Nine is because it also just has the best accuracy overall. I'm pretty sure there's a snake in this box. Nope. You always got to be careful in case there's a snake. That was a close one. Shocked the kick that kick didn't hit that other guy. Un forastero. Yeah, so that the, the, these tank controls are just something you get used to as you play. Because the right stick only controls where you look, and so the left stick controls both aiming. And, and so type 3 type three controls, the one where the right stick controls your aim, I would never recommend. Um, because the dead zone on the, uh, the, uh, the GameCube controller, which is what this game is based off of, uh, it was so much smaller, or so much bigger, it had a much bigger dead zone. So you end up having this massive dead zone where you go from, like, see, here, if you look, I can nudge the stick, and it will move over. But with the right stick, it would, like, immediately start to uh, go in, like, lot wide increments, even if I was nudging it. So, yeah, you're better off. Type 2 is just the best control scheme, in my opinion. Leon, how you holding up? Bad question, Honigan. Sorry to hear that. I'm sending you a playing manual. Hope you find it useful. I'll take a look at it, thanks. Eh, I know how to play these games. But thanks anyways, Honigan. Uh, so I'm running flawless widescreen and an HD. Um, uh, I'm running flawless widescreen and HD textures. So anyways, there's our ride. Fucking yikes. Uh, let's see, what are we working with here? 42 bullets? We can make that work. So anyways, here's where shit gets funky. So, what we do is we kite the shit out of these guys.
If we get a long train running, right? We get. We... Ah. Yeah, so that that didn't pan out quite as how I'd hoped. There we go. Yeah, so you got to be careful because they'll throw their weapons, and you can shoot the weapons out of the air when they throw them, but it's a bad time. So, now that we have all three of these, can do that. Yep, so you gotta hole up in this house to make stuff go faster. Chainsaw. Shit. Son of That's no good. Well, we got a little bit of extra max HP now. Oh, hey guys! Hi there, howdy. How you doing, bud? So shotgun guy is an instant kill. Or the shotgun, the fucking chainsaw guy instant kills you. So you don't want that. Where's everyone going? Bingo?
Where's everyone going? Bingo. Hunnigan, I have some bad news. I've confirmed the body of an officer. Something's happened to the people here. Leon, you need to get out of there. Look for a tower and follow the trail near it. Got it. All right. Well, now that we're in the clear, we can uh, loot at our leisure. Many small insects are feasting on leftovers. God, this game is just so much fucking fun to play. Like, this game just has a really good feel to it. The way a game feels is one of the most important things to it, uh, in my opinion. Like, just... If it doesn't feel really good... That's a problem I've had with a lot of shooters in the past, is... There's a lot of, like, really good shooters around, sure, but some of them just feel really awkward to play. Like, they have cool mechanics, but they just don't. Okay, bumpers are rotate. I just wanted to make sure I remember that correctly. Let's get organized. One of the only major issues to this game, really, is that, um... It, uh... Give me a sec. Oh, what was I gonna say? Man, it completely fucking... Oh, yeah, there's no, like, way easy way to, like, quickly swap between weapons. There's no fast swapping, so you kind of just have to... Uh, go into the pause menu to grab stuff. It's a little, it's a little jarring, a little annoying, but... It's, it, it is what it is. It's all right. Okay, you can't go into the barn here. I guess that was only in mercenaries mode that you could do that. Haven't used my controller in a good while, so it's nice using it again. Alert order. Recently, there's been information the United States government agent is here investigating the village. Do not let this American agent get in contact with the prisoner. For those of you not yet informed, the prisoner is being held in an old house beyond the farm. We will transfer the prisoner to a more secure location in the valley when we are ready. The prisoner is to stay there until further notice. Meanwhile, do not let the American agent get near the prisoner. We do not know how the American government found out about our village, but we are investigating. However, I feel that this intrusion at this particular time is not just a coincidence. I sense a third party other than the United States government involved here. My fellow men, stay alert. Uh, she Chief... Uh, I, I, I'm going to butcher this. I know the last name. Bitores Mendez. Mendez. Uh, Bit Bitores. I, that sounds right, but I don't fucking speak Spanish. I speak, I speak plain American English, because that's all I fucking know. I learned a bit of Latin in high school, and I mean, that's about it. Un forastero. Indeed, my friend. <laughs> See, 
So yeah, you can save a lot of ammo if you're um if you play cautiously enough. So if you're an old if you're an old pro, it uh Ammo conservation comes naturally because you just know when to do a lot of the melee attacks. The boy I'm The knife's also a huge ammo saver. There we go. Jesus. So yeah, if you shoot that thing down before closing this up, closing up the cesspool, it'll um, actually lose value. About the blue medallions. 15, 7 in the farm, 8 in the cemetery. For those of you who destroy 10 or more, they will be rewarded. The rest is illegible. So we're going to rotate between three different saves. Um, that way, if any any bad shit happens, I can always roll back a save. Nothing here except a stinking pool of manure. There we go. The laser sight aiming in this game is so elegant. I love it. Okay, got a few more. I think Y, yeah, Y is also the map. Okay. I was trying to jog my memory there for a second. Howdy.
And if anybody's wondering if I'm going to do the Krauser cheese later in the game, yes. Yes, I am. the wrong way. What's... Oh, okay, it's over that way. It's all seven on the farm. I thought the old beer stein was around here. Am I mistaken? Huh. I was mistaken. So I actually used my index finger to mash, so I actually had to sort of contort my hand around to hit the other trigger. I guess the bats aren't really worth anything. Yeah, no, you can't kill them. See if I can... There we go. Who threw that one? Ah, uh, that guy right there. How are we looking on ammo? Very good. Hmm. <laughs> 
Whoa, that was close. I'm gonna get. Yep, that was bad. Well, that wasn't very helpful. Let's just use the first aid spray. I kept trying to shoot it out of his hand, but I just kept fucking it up. Yeah, I, it's been long enough since I've played this game that I still forget where certain enemy placements are. But all the traps are cleaned out, which is nice. I'm just trying to remember where, like, all the, uh, gems and jewels and shit are. If I remember, like, in one of these trees, hanging from one of these tree branches, there's a, there's a gem. Oh, right, the bird's nests. The red cat's eye, okay. Yeah, I forgot it's the bird's nest that you have to keep an eye out for. Please see if there's another one around here. Sorry, please bear with me. It's just been a little while since I played, so I just gotta get back into the swing of things. Where are these guys? On the bridge? Yeah, okay. Yeah, so I forgot about the bird's nest, so I'm glad I remembered that. think <clears throat> oh. you're not like them no you <clears throat> okay I have only one very important question do you got a smoke got gum 
Perfect. The big cheese. What? Don't forget, this was after the Matrix, so there was a there was a lot going on in two thousand four. Feeble humans, let us give you our power. I'm unable to resist this intoxicating power. <clears throat> Fucking Jarl Balgriff out here. Hey, hey wake up. Yeah, uh, yeah. Crawl out of one hole. And into another. You want to tell me what's going on here? Americano, see? Now what brings a bloke like you to this part of the world? Oh, hey, easy, whoever you are. <sighs> Name's Leon. Came here looking for this girl. Seen her? What, are you supposed to be a cop or something? Nah, you don't look the type. Maybe. Okay, let me guess. She's the president's daughter? <laughs> That's too good for a guess. Want to start explaining? Psychic powers. Nah, <laughs> just kidding with you, amigo. I overheard one of the villagers talking something about the president's daughter in the church. And who might you be? Me llamo Luis Serra. I used to be a cop in Madrid. But now I'm just a good-for-nothing guy who happens to be quite the ladies' man. Why'd you quit? Phew, <sighs> policia. You put your life on the line. Nobody really appreciates you enough for it. Being a hero isn't what it's cracked up to be anymore. I used to be a cop myself. Only for a day, though. I thought I was bad. Somehow I managed to get myself involved with the incident in Raccoon City on my first day in the force. That is the incident with the viral outbreak, right? I think I might have seen a sample of the virus in a lab at the department. Hey boy, I'm not done. Do something, cop! After you! Now! It's Leon. Sorry I couldn't get in touch sooner, but I was a bit tied up. You're okay, right? I'm fine. There was a male civilian held captive. According to him, Ashley's in a church somewhere. What happened to him? He managed to escape. Do you have a fix on the location of that church? No. But apparently there's a secret passage in the village that leads there. I'm heading back to the village. So when we get to the uh, typewriter, we're going to take a sh quick break just so I can get some more tea to help me feel a little better. Ah, uh, this Over guy. Over here, stranger. Over here, stranger. Um, I also... <sighs> Okay, yeah, there's no there's no cutscene subtitles. I figured there was I I am I was trying to remember if there was or wasn't. Um yeah, no, there's no cutscene subtitles. Um so we're just going to leave that 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 pleasant little music running. Well, I go to yeah, just get some tea and use the bathroom. All right, good to go. Tea is tea is steeping and 
it's right here next to me, so I'll drink it once it's good. And yeah, not really much else. Just you know, just break over. Break time's over. Back to work. I am so happy to be playing this game again. I fucking love this game. Got something that might interest you. <laughs> Got a selection of good things on sale, stranger. What are you selling? Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. <Huh? laughs> Thank you. So we want to keep the red cat's eye. It was once set in something, so that's kind of the game will give you hints if it's combinable with something. What are you buying? Is that all strength? Upgrade our attaché <laughs> case. You. Is that all? <laughs> Thank Treasure you. map. So the game wants us to buy the rifle. Um, we're gonna hold what off on that for buying? now. We're just gonna tune the handgun up a little bit. Is that old? <laughs> Get a little Thank bit you. of extra damage. Um, Is that old? And a little bit higher capacity. <laughs> Thank you. What are you buying? What are you selling? Ah, I'll buy it at a high price. Good. So the the name of the game for Resident Evil 4 is just kiting. So much of it is just comes down to how good you can kite. I thought I heard something sizzling.
Yeah, that knife's a huge ammo saver. Come on. No no fair. Fucker. Yeah, once you get surrounded, like, shit gets really fucking tough. That's how you do it right there. Whoa, 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 calm down. Yeah, the knife is easily one of your best tools in RE4. If you don't take advantage of the knife, you're gimping your, uh, your, your, your abilities. Leah, you got this. You got this. There we go.
game. This game is just too good. Yeah, and like most other Resident Evils, the early game is super tough. Music has stopped, so that means we're all clear. our max health once again. And then there's going to be some treasures up ahead. Yeah, that's really what the, um, so you can do this where you, you move the camera and then if I flick the camera left or right, um, the, uh, the aiming actually tracks your camera, so I can do this to do quick 90 degree turns if I have to. So there are uses for using the right stick. Can use it to turn corners and stuff. So got that treasure right there. Oh, come on, I didn't want to pick that up. That was really annoying.
still, if I... We're, we're doing okay on handgun ammo. I haven't used the shotgun all that much, which is kind of my bad. I should probably use up some of the shotgun ammo, because I have so much of it. That's what the shotgun's really good for, is for, uh, blowing up those things. So yeah, kicking down doors can actually kill certain enemies. It doesn't deal a lot of damage, but it's doable. I think Dante Ravioli did a challenge for that once. Do door only. Gotta remember how to get into that room with the treasure. I think this is the same window. Man, you'd have so much broken glass on you. That fucking hurt. Jesus. Ah, here we go. That's what it was. Nope. Okay. Okay, that's not what the cat's eye is for. But if I remember the cat's eye is specifically for the beer stein. Oh, come on. That's really annoying. Well, we got some fish down here. There we go, and just like that, good as new. Let's see how we how we doing here? Got a pretty acceptable amount of, uh... Sorry, crows. 
But you got money, and I need that money. Got another one of these. Still no snakes yet, which is very shocking. Extremely shocking, honestly. I definitely would have figured I would have gotten a sneak by now. Okay, I got both of the major treasures here. Just keeping my eye out for a, uh, a bird's nest, because I'm pretty sure there is one here. Unless there isn't one. Guess not. Whatever. Cash money. They're all textbooks written in English, but I don't have time to read them. Chief's note. As instructed by Lord Sadler, I have the agent in confinement alive. Why keep him alive? I do not fully understand what the Lord's intentions are. I would, however, think he keep them separate, not confine them together as has been ordered. I didn't expect Luis would trust a stranger, but if by chance they did cooperate, the situation could get a bit more complicated. If for some reason an unknown third party is involved, I don't think they'd let a chance like this slip by. Maybe it's all Lord Sadler's ploy, leaving us vulnerable so that this third party will surface, even if they, if they even exist, that is. It's an unlikely possibility, but if a prowler is already amongst us, then our plan could be in ruins. I guess the Lord thinks it's worth the risk if we're able to stop whatever conspiracy is at work. At any rate, it's the Lord's call. We will trust his judgment as always. Quite an eloqu eloquent writer, this, uh, this, this big cheese. Looking good. <laughs> you carry the same blood as us, it seems. Nevertheless, you're an outsider. Just remember, if you become unpleasant to our eyes, you'll face severe consequences. <laughs> what? Same blood? Yeah, some shit's going down. Leon, I've been able to get some new info that might help you. Fill me in. Apparently, there's a religious cult group involved. They're called the Los Illuminados. Los Illuminados? <laughs> That's a mouthful. Anyway, I had an unexpected run-in with the big cheese of this village. But you're okay, right? Yeah, but he could have killed me, but he let me live. And he mentioned something about me carrying the same blood as them. Whatever that means. Carry the same blood? Huh, interesting. Anyway, there are more important things than solving riddles right now. You're right. Hurry and find that church, Leon. Uh, 
Oh, you think you can just take a piss like that? Guess they're at least somewhat civilized. Eat like normal humans. They even read books. Another incendiary grenade. Okay. Egg! So we bully, we can bully the chainsaw guy for a bit with the shotgun. You can kick, uh, kick him to death, but I have the shotgun ammo and I want to manage these, uh, these other trash mobs. Because I don't want the yard trash getting in my way and potentially getting me killed. See, now that the yard trash is dead... And that's all it takes, really. Um, he takes a few more headshots than some of the other guys, but you can still get him. Oh, what? There we go. I broke my back! Spinal! Hello. Oh, okay. Cool. I keep pressing Y for menu. them a little bit. I need this fish. There we go. That's how we solve problems. bit more annoying than it had to be, but it had, we got it done. How are we looking here? Doing alright for ammo. Doing alright. Could be better. Could be worse. I also haven't played in a while, and it's a fresh save, so... All told, pretty alright.
Still no snakes. I'm, expect I'm expecting those snakes any second now. Oh, come on, dude. Oh, come on. I thought I dodged that. Oh, well. Yeah, early game can be pretty intense. Come, dick. There we go. I'm just trying to hit him in the head so I can save ammo. Oh, it doesn't give you anything. I thought the cows gave you something. Well, now I just feel like a dick. Okay, that's the way forward now. We missed out on a treasure over this way. Let's go back for it. While the while the door is still open. Okay, yeah, so the beer stein is over this way. I I wasn't just imagining shit. Ah, uh, okay, okay, I see now. I thought I was cl I, I was close to it. I was uh, not bad for going off of memory, but yeah, no, it's right here. That's where it was, okay. No, not the ruby. Although I'm pretty sure the ruby we... Nope, no, 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 no. Large precious stone. Uh. Okay, the beer stein needs three gems. I forget all the treasure combos, so bear with me. This reminds me a lot of uh, Half-Life 2 ambience. Half-Life 2. I also don't think I've streamed that one yet.
Ah, uh, the good old save room music. So yeah, we use those to, uh... We can use those to kill baddies we don't want. Dress. Uh, let's have a look here at what the elegant headdress is. I guess it's already a complete item. I'm just going to pull up the list, because I'm, I'm tired of guessing. Thought I had a fucking PDF or some shit of the whatever. <sighs> I'm tired of going in and out of the game all the time. We're just gonna play. Got something that might interest you. Got a selection of. What are ten, you selling? Ten or more to get a specialized gun. Is that all? TMP <laughs> ammo. Thank you. Is that all? <laughs> Thank. Ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Thank you. So the beer stein and the elegant mask can keep getting upgraded, though. So we're just gonna keep going with those. What are you buying? So you can get a little SMG now. But we don't want to do that quite Is that yet. Old? <laughs> Thank you. So the shotgun you the shotgun's going to remain unupgraded for now. What are you buying? Uh, we can use the TMP for the trash mobs, though, the yard trash. Um, the rifle we don't exactly need just yet. <laughs> Is that <laughs> Thank you. What are you buying? Is that old? <laughs> Is that? <laughs> Is that... <laughs> Tune up the TMP Thank a you. little bit. Let's get a little organized here. Pop that down there. There we go. And plenty of room. No problem. So then the other, uh, the other plates that we shoot down are here, and we can go back for a new handgun.
after that. Oh, why did I sell the TMP ammo if I was actually going to fucking buy the TMP? That was a very... I just realized how stupid that was. Don't, don't judge me. I'm fucking sick. Okay? That's my excuse. I'm sticking to it. Nerd trying to fucking bed duck and weave. But yeah, this the uh the starting pistol has one of the uh best final upgrades, which is like crit chance, which makes you like five times as likely to insta kill an enemy on headshot, which is great. But man, that fucking it's just so shaky. That lack of stability really hurts it. So we got 10 of them. Um, I, don't know, I don't remember if all 15 uh, does anything. We're gonna go get all 15, just just, just cause. We can get them all, so we're gonna get them all. I gotta remember, was there a crow's nest somewhere? Whoa. Absolutely fucking cracked aim. I can't believe I, I landed that shot. That was fucking cracked as hell. Yeah, there we go. Jesus Christ. I'm pretty sure if you get all 15, um, it's it's upgraded. He gives it to you partially upgraded. <laughs> Owned. Okay, uh, the three fam- four, the family insignias, and I'm, if I remember correctly, it's like M, V, it's in the cemetery. We go look at the graves. M, there's that full symbol, S, V.
another one up here. My tea should be good enough by now. It probably is, like, lukewarm. Mm. It's alright. It's okay. <sighs> Leon, have you reached the church yet? Uh, well, yeah. Sort of. Leon, did I mention not to take the scenic route? At any rate, Ashley's probably inside that structure. Rescue her! Hurry! Love how the justification they give for the TMP uh, using different ammo is that it fires special custom 9mm, even though it's the same kind of 9mm that Leon's handgun's using. Also, one of the guns you get in this game is a 5.7, and the 5.7 do doesn't use 9mm. True to its name, it uses Come on. Yep, there's the snake. There there it is. Where's that little fucker? Give me my fucking health back. There we go. Eat that egg. Closure of the church. Regarding the two fugitives, the apprehension of Luis is our top priority. The American agent is a distant second. What Luis stole from us is far more important than the girl. Unless we get it back, the girl will become useless to us. We must get it back to execute our plan to the end. If it gets in the wrong hands, the world could become a totally different place than what Lord Sadler has envisioned. At all costs, we mustn't let that happen. Nonetheless, we're not letting go of the girl. To ensure the agent does not get to her, I have held the church door where the girl is... I have locked the church door where the girl is held, being held. Wow. Jesus, my fucking English. Uh, anyone who needs to access to the church must first get approved by Lord Sadler. There is a key beyond the lake, but it should be safe now that the Del Lago has been awakened by our Lord. No one will get across the lake alive. Plus, our same blood courses through that agent's veins. It's, it'll be a matter of time before he joins us. Once he does, there will be nobody else left that will come looking for that girl. There we go. So now we're gonna head back to uh, our, our, our friend. And have a lovely little chat with him. Welcome. Welcome. Got some rare. What are you buying? So we got a unique gun. It's already got a bit of a firepower upgrade. So we're just gonna set it down <laughs> there. You. Um, and this what is we're gonna we're gonna use the Punisher for a little bit. Let's see, handgun. It's at 1.2 right now versus 1.1. Punisher. Well, it's not upgraded, but Punisher has slightly less firepower, but it it, it has um, higher penetration. We're gonna sell ah. so, the handgun. <laughs> what are you We're gonna buying? tune up the. We can't tune up the Punisher what are right you now. Buying? But that's fine. Mainly, what are you we're buying? just 
We're just trying to be really frugal, and the main thing is I just want accuracy right now. What are you selling? We're just sell all the this. Yeah, let's just sell that. Thank off. you. Come back, Eddie. Time. Five seven is a very pretty pistol. But yeah, it's it's wrongly it wrongly says that it's in nine mil, which it is definitely not. But whatever. They have to justify every gun being in 9 mil in this game, obviously, for consistency, but... Yep, fun little trick you can do right there. It's okay, they're just sleeping. I've just knocked them unconscious with this flashbang. Here's something growling on the other side. It's not foreshadowing at all. There we go, we got a bit of TMP ammo. Oop. Oh yeah, there's a save down here. Did that really do anything for me? No. It's kind of fun. It's been like a year since I've played this game, so it's fun just seeing how much of it I remember. I think now he'll upgrade the Punisher at this place. Got some rare thing. What are you buying? Yep, there we go. Is that all? Is that? Is <laughs> Thank you. Oh, wait. We gotta... There we go. This is a really good weapon for just, like, stunning groups.
Is you can just chain stun a bunch of dudes and uh, then just kick them around. God, like when I mash that out, like I feel it in my fucking wrist. Jesus Christ. And see, it's a very, it's very stable. So I can just do that. That was a lucky shot. <laughs> yeah, the TMP makes itself a very useful tool because it has a lot of ammo. Which means you pretty much never have to reload during a single fight. As long as you're uh, being cautious with your ammo expenditure. It takes up more space than a starting pistol, but for the accuracy and stability you get out of it, it it's very worth the, uh, the cost. Where are these boys coming from, huh? Where are you going? Ooh, gold egg. Uh, I'm pretty sure the gold eggs also increase your max HP. Restores health. There's tons of um, there's tons of really nice flavor text in this game too, which I always appreciate. Bastard. So this is what I was talking about. You just have tons of real estate for getting in those melee strikes, which really reduces your ammo costs. Let's uh, eat one of our eggs. Oh, howdy. Bastard. Oh, 
The headphones really help because I just heard that guy behind me too. Dudes, huh? We got a treasure under the. Oh, in this bird's nest. It was like under the boardwalk. Antique pipe. See those treasure maps? They're a worthy investment. Let's see, how much ammo am I conserving? See, look at all that TMP ammo. Look at all this ammo. I'm I'm just I'm I'm earning it. Like I'm I'm gaining it. I'm saving it. It's my life savings. It's the lifeblood of this game, and that's why you don't spend it freely. Until you do, and then it's fun. Ahí está. There's another guy over there. So let's kite them back a little bit. I also love this game's aiming system because it lends itself well to a control stick. It feels a lot more, like, obviously you can do it on keyboard and mouse, but it feels, like, natural on a C-stick, which is really good. It's what you want when you have a game built for controllers, for the, for the controls to actually feel good on a controller, you know? This is something I think a lot of GameCube games did really well. Um, what was it? Uh, There's another game. Uh, Metroid Prime obviously did that really well because they had the lock-on system, so you really only needed to use the one stick for the most part.
que ándale So yeah, there's a big fish in that water. Gold bangle with pearls. Keep pushing Y for inventory, as always. Because I'm a silly goose. Alright, so I think I remember how to handle this boss fight. I forgot how to dodge that one. Oh, now's as good a time as any to raise our max HP once again. God, that's so annoying. So, it's a battle of patience. You just gotta wait to land those good hits. He's gonna try to knock you off by bumping you into stuff. Damn it. Shit! Yeah, it's a bit of an annoying one. I never really liked this fight. Yeah, 
you just pull off to one side and you should be fine. You gotta stay out of the way of those logs. God damn it. There we go. Jesus Christ. Takes a while. Yeah, it's a real test of patience, that fight. That would hurt a lot, having that, all that weight just around your fucking leg. That would crush your bones. Well, we got through it with no death, which is good. There's some shit going on. Leon, it's been six hours since our last transmission. I was starting to get worried. Don't you mean lonely? Anyway, I started to feel dizzy, and then I guess I must have lost consciousness. Lost consciousness? Maybe that has some connection to what the village chief was talking about. Hmm. Can't say. But I'm alright now. I'm gonna continue my mission.
Anonymous letter. There's an important item hidden in the falls. If you're able to get to it, you might be able to get Ashley out of the church. But I'll warn you, the route to the church isn't a walk in the park by any means. They've deployed what's called an El Gigante, so God bless. And about what's going on in your body, if I could help you, I would, but unfortunately, it's beyond my power. Man, it's dirty. Mm, we're fucking loaded on shit right now. So now, if we wanted to, we can cross the lake here. And go hang out with our, our buddy boy over here. More important than that, there's treasure here. green gem in there. Now we can drop down and, and talk to him directly. But that wasn't what we came here for. We were just there for the green gem. Got some rare things. What are you buying? Updated list what are of you stuff selling? To tune up. Uh, got like a hundred handgun rounds. Just gonna sell a stack. Is that all? <laughs> Thank. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. Is that? A <laughs> Thank you. Is that a <laughs> thank you? Is that <laughs> thank is that <laughs> thank you? Is that all stranger? Is that <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> thank you? Yeah, just a brief visit to the merchant, and then we're on our way again. This game's got a very strong sense of visual style, which I really appreciate. save again. So there is a reason this game holds up, especially if you use the, uh, the HD upscale texture pack.
So yeah, these things you can't get close to them. Because they, uh, they, they'll whip you with their little tentacles, you dads. So you want to stay away from them, because they'll just nick you. Yeah, the shotgun's good for them because you knock them down and then you blast them while they're stationary. Sucks that I don't have the red nine though. That'd be really nice. Yeah, and the quick turn, I use the quick turn in this game more than I would in any other Resident Evil game because this one actually has like a legit purpose. But well, I can't say that. Quick turn had a real purpose in the old, in the old, old school RE games, obviously. Because being able to pull a quick 180 was always helpful. So, never mind. I, I, I'm talking shit. Don't listen to me.
We don't get any loot from that, but man, that's fun. Into the water you go. If I remember, this is a pretty decently long chapter, but after this chapter ends, I'll probably... Um, oh no, it's not that long now that I remember it. But I'll probably end it after this one. Because I am I've feeling a little bad again. I've obtained an occult groups insignia. Wonderful, Leon. Head back to the church. Ashley's safety is our immediate priority. Make sure we got all the treasures so f Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. Selection of what are you buying? Okay, what are you selling? Do anything with that, but I think we can sell that uh, that ring. Is that? <laughs> ah. <laughs> Thank you. use for those grenades we've been saving up. Hi, doggy.
page that don't look like Fifteen thousand pesetas, which is uh, now outdated currency in Spain. Pesetas. It's a fun word to say, though. So if you actually hide in here during the fight, he'll just smash these down, so you don't really do that. We don't do that yet. our stash looking like. We still have a ton of TMP ammo, so we're just going to switch back to that. Right, the dogs. God damn it. forgot about that. Well, we're going to have to do the El Gigante fight over again because I don't want any deaths on this uh, on this on this saves record. So, that's really fucking annoying. Totally forgot about those stupid fucking dogs. Ugh. Let's not do any make up make make any major cock ups this time with the dogs. We're just gonna keep the shotgun out. I'm pressing every button except the correct button. Jesus Christ. There we go.
This time I'm not gonna get killed by those dogs. God, these things actually fucking stress me the fuck out. Because they're so fucking fast and hard to hit. Fortunately, they're uh, not very common. They don't show up very often in the game. Which is all the better. Treasure in here. It's just uh having a look around. There we go. That's what I was that's what I was getting wrong. I had the green in the wrong spot. Ashley. Don't come. Hey, take it easy. Calm down. 
Everything's going to be just fine. My name's Leon. I'm under the President's order to rescue you. What? My father? That's right. And I have to get you out of here. Now come with me. It's Leon. I've succeeded in extricating my subject. Good work, Leon. I'll send a chopper over right away. Where's the extraction point? There's another trail that you can take to get out of the village. The chopper will pick you up beyond there. Got it. I'm on my way. Yep, okay, just had to jog my memory real quick. Ashley can't get, be killed by the knife, but she can die if you shoot her. And then Leon goes, oh, no. And it's funny. I'll take the girl. Who are you? If you must know, my name is Osman Sadler, the master of this fine religious community. What do you want? To demonstrate to the whole world our astounding power, of course. No longer will the United States think they can police the world forever. So, we kidnap the president's daughter in order to give her our power and then send her back. No. Leon, I think they shot something in my neck. What did you do to her? We just planted her a little gift. Oh, there's going to be one hell of a party when she returns home to her loving father. <laughs> but before that, I thought I might bargain with the president for some donation. Believe it or not, it takes quite a lot of money to keep this church up and running. Faith and money will lead you nowhere, Sadler. Oh, I believe I forgot to tell you that we gave you the same gift. When I was unconscious. Oh, I truly hope you like our small but special contributions. When the eggs hatch, you will become my puppets. Involuntarily, you'll do as I say. I'll have total control over your minds. Don't you think this is a revolutionary way to promulgate one's faith. Sounds more like an alien invasion if you ask me. You okay? Uh, Leon, what's gonna happen to us? Don't worry. We got into this mess, we can get out of it. And that's that. Well, pretty happy with that first stream. Uh, more on the way, of course. But yeah, man, I, I fucking love this game. Really happy to be playing it again. Uh, but anyways, that's all for now. Bye-bye.